to introduce to you guys a longtime friend of mine, but one of the real special people in the National Football League. Helped run the Dallas Cowboys forever. Uh, still works for the National Football League today, does evaluation stuff. Uh, he has the ear of everybody in the league as far as looking at players. Uh, does a lot of radio work. Uh, just a, a great opportunity, guys, uh, for, for him to spend a couple of minutes with you guys, talking to you guys. Let's welcome Gil Brandt. I've known Coach before I had gray hair, so that's how far back we go. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, I've known Coach ever since he was a player at Illinois. And as a player at Illinois, he was just the same way he is now. He was gung-ho. I, I tell you this, I don't know how you can play for a better person than Tim Booster. And, and, and more so, well, he cares about you. And I think that's a big, big thing, is having somebody that cares about you. You know, you go back to uh, North Carolina. I was with Dre Bly uh, last week out at uh, San Francisco's training camp, and I told him I was going to stop. I'd say hello to Coach Booster. Say hello to Coach Booster. And I'm really impressed just by looking at your team with some of the guys that you got. You know, this is a, a very good looking physical team. I'm glad to see all those Texas guys and, and, uh, and that, that are here and hope there's some more of you. But hey, the one thing more than anything, don't let anything get in your way. What it's all about is that ring right there. Uh, I got five of them. He's got <laughs> that ring right there. It says world champions, world champions, okay? It's time for us to get a ring in the guys. Let's come together, right? Here we go. Here we go. We've got to protect the force for one. Come here. Protect the force for one. Big Ten Champs Rose Bowl on three. One, two, three. Big Ten Champs Rose Bowl. Here we go. This is Gil Brandt, and I'm visiting the University of Minnesota today, and I'm awestruck. Uh, what a beautiful, beautiful facility uh, this is. And uh, if recruits don't want to come here, uh, they're not thinking very well, I'll tell you that. Tim Brewster has been a friend of mine uh, for many, many years, ever since he was a player uh, at the University of Illinois as a tight end uh, under Mike White. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you can play for a better person uh, than Tim, a person that really cares about a player as an individual, and he's also a very, very good football coach. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of opportunities for you here with the Golden Gophers in Minneapolis. You've been around football your entire life. How does uh, how does this stadium rank up there with all the great ones? Well, I think this stadium is as nice a stadium as I've seen. Uh, I, the, what's a, you know the aisles are wide, uh, it, the chair back seats are beautiful. Uh, it is it is it is very very nice. It'd be hard to duplicate this stadium any place. There's a lot of uh, debate about moving back to campus after 20 years in the dome. You know, do you have an opinion on that? Is being being uh, having your team on campus is there something special about that? Yeah, I think there's something special on it. I think mo mostly what's special about it is the student participation. You know, uh, when SMU played at the uh, at the Cowboy Stadium there in Dallas, they had very few students come out there, and it was 10 miles away. But I think the students, and you have the most students, or the second most in the country here, uh, they become a part of the stadium. And then all of a sudden you have a 50,000 plus stadium that's sold out every week and is noisy every week and it makes it tough for visiting teams to come in and play.